Hi, Girl Scouts. So welcome to Older Girl Eats. This is going to be a part of the Locavore batch. I'm going to be doing steps four and five from the badge workshop. So you'll need to complete the other three to earn the badge. Um, so the first one I will be doing on this first video, and then I will make a second part for this for step five. We are going to make a recipe, make a local recipe. So um, it says to pick your favorite recipe from a friend or family member. If you love pepperoni pizza, maybe you can find local cheese, pepperoni, tomatoes. If you have grow any herbs or, you know, tomatoes. Um, and use local products, basically. So I'm going to actually be making spaghetti squash. So I'm using the oil that was provided from Agronation, so that's local. I have ground turkey. Um, I have tomato sauce, which was bought at a local market. <laughs> I have the actual spaghetti squash, which is the yellow squash that you see. I have already cut it in half and washed it and everything. Um, I have some mushrooms, I have some olives, and I have onion and black pepper, salt, and my ground turkey and a tomato. So first I will be putting the actual spaghetti squash into the oven. I'm going to drizzle olive oil onto it and then sprinkle some pepper and salt and I'm gonna let that soften up. I have the oven preheated at 400 and I usually like to check on the squash in about 25 minutes and see if I like it at that texture. Basically you want it where it's soft enough where you take a fork and you scrape it in and that is the spaghetti noodles instead of using actual pasta. Um, and then I'm going to get started on my meat filling which is gonna be ground turkey, um, cut up tomato, mushroom, I like my black olives on top. I don't like cooking it in there. Um, and what else am I putting in it? Onion, and then I season my ground turkey with um, black pepper and salt. So I don't really use actual ingredients, kind of just, but I'm gonna be using uh, about a half a cup of mushrooms, the whole tomato, so one tomato. Um, probably use about half a tablespoon of black pepper and I don't really like using a lot of salt so about two pinches of salt so we'll get started on cooking that and on the part two video which will be the step five it'll be cooking something from scratch I'm actually going to be making freshly baked oatmeal cookies without the raisins <laughs> but feel free to add raisins if you want or chocolate chips up to you but that'll be in the second part of the video so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this first part. My hands are already washed. Make sure you have clean hands and we'll get started. So like I said, I already have this, you know, cut. I'm going to take out my seeds. So spaghetti squash has seeds. I'm gonna to wanna to scoop those out take a spoon and you know twirl it around in there and get all those seeds out. I'm dropping it into a trash can as I do this. I'm not just dropping it on the floor. So got it all seedless. I'm going to repeat the process with the other half. This is a yummy alternative if you love spaghetti, but you just don't want to eat all that pasta. It's what I do when I'm cutting carbs. Even though carbs are good for you. I like to cut my carbs when I when I want to cut my holiday weight <laughs> because we all love holiday treats. I know I do. All right. That. So 
You want to be careful when you're cutting. Make sure you don't, yeah. The fingers, they, they may be a bit hard to cut, so you be careful. So, I'm going to put it into my oven pan. Oh, look, here's some Four seeds. I'm going to take the extra virgin olive oil, aggregation, a little oil on there. I'm going to put some pepper. I'm going to that on there. I love pepper. So I will check back on that. And then let's get started on our meat filling. So I have my sauce pan. If my stove would want to work. I'm going to take some of this. Put a little bit in the pan. Hot. So I need some ground turkey. You can use um, regular ground beef if you want to, beef pork, whatever meat preference you have, or you don't eat meat. Um, I have already washed my veggies. I'm going to just slice my tomato. Mushrooms of like five mushrooms. Decent. And be careful with your fingers. Onion in there for flavoring because onion is really good when it comes to adding flavor. Take off that skin. What Shrek says, onions have layers. about half a small onion. I'm going to throw that into the pan hot skillet. I'm going to take 
my go to black pepper. If it would open, I'm going to do that much. And then some salt, about two pinches. And then I'm going to brown my turkey. And you're going to want to have it on medium heat. Cooking. I lost connection. Um, so I have the brown meat cooking. I don't know when I lost connection on this. Hopefully it comes back so that we're able to see it. But right now I have the ground turkey cooking. And um, I'm going to let that brown and everything. And I'm going to throw in my veggies. So I'm going to let it brown. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and then start it again and check on the meat when well, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause it right now and I'm gonna see what's wrong with the cell phone connection so that it stopped recording. Um, so I will be back. All right, so I'm back. So this is what the ground beef looks like when it's cooked. Um, I went ahead and drained it. And now it's ready to add our tomato sauce. You can make your own tomato sauce as well. I just didn't have the time. part two of the video and we will film the part where I put all the you know spaghetti squash together when it's done cooking but I'm going to go ahead and start filming our next recipe which is going to be step um, five that we're doing out of this batch workshop and it is making something from scratch. And what we're gonna be making from scratch are oatmeal cookies. So I'm gonna stop this recording and then start the cookies on the next recording and it'll be under Love Accord Part Two, Older Girl Eats. And at the end, we will put our spaghetti together too. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 